when we would go to Angelo on Wednesday, they, like I said, we've been beating ourselves all season. It's it's just mistakes that we're doing to ourselves that are costing us goals, and sometimes they're early, and sometimes we don't like to use the word unlucky, but it's more more of a unfortunate season that we're having because when we played Angelo, it's very rare whenever a team has won the first shot during the game and it goes in, and that happened twice to us back-to-back games you know um but at the same time i mean there's we could do things to avoid those type of situations where we can uh keep the ball out of our back and then not really have healing do so much saves and uh being so much involved i mean it's great for her i mean she she's showing how great of a goalkeeper that she is but at the same time we need we need to put some uh, attacking threat as well but at the same time um we're still learning still growing we're still young um, and we're just trying to prove each each game. <laughs> yeah, you know, no one really, as a coach, I mean, you're not, you don't really expect the season to go the way it's been going, like what we've been having uh, this year. You know, especially from last year, going to the NCAA second round and to this year, kind of struggling to win our first uh, conference game. You know, it's just night and day. But I mean, this is the beauty of. Uh, of our job, you know, we want to win, we want to uh, to excel, but sometimes we're going to have years where it's going to be tough and it's going to be uh, just a learning curve for some of the girls because, uh, I mean, we had some fantastic players last year, but they ended up leaving a little bit, so we had some new players and we're fairly young and we're starting some uh, freshmen and some players are actually getting some more more minutes than they have in the past, so it's just a learning curve and it is a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, it's it's fun. It's part of the job. It's what sport is all about. I mean, you're not going to win every single game, and we would want a very successful season every season, but we're not going. It may not happen, and we just got to go through it. We learn, and then we just continue to grow. What's the morale of the team like right now? And how do you, what can you guys do to You know, right now we're still trying. Our next, our goal is just to make the conference tournament. And actually, our first goal is actually to get our first conference win and to make the conference tournament. So. We're not giving up just yet. We're we're West Texas A&M. We we're we're Buffaloes. We don't we never quit. So we're gonna try to uh, just continue game by game, half by half, and training by training. You know, we'll we'll go back at it today and try to work on the things that we can do to to win our next game. So uh, the morale is pretty neutral. It, it's it's not at the highest, you know, but it's not at the lowest either. So we're still competing. We're still trying hard, and we're trying to still be our best. Right, we just gotta win every single game for the rest of the season. You know, we got five games left, I believe. So uh, we can't. I mean, gotta take it game by game, but we gotta start winning at least. We gotta get our first one. You know, so uh, we just got pretty much one out, and hopefully that we get some other results results from other teams. Uh, so we're actually just gonna lose one senior. Um, her name's Ashley Silvestre, so we don't call it a senior night. We call it Ashley night. So she, uh, the little joke around the team is that she's the grandma of the team. She's the oldest one. She's this is her fifth year. So uh, we're we're losing. She's been here for five years, and she's been a big part of our team and always big piece. And she's been she's been battling some injuries. She's she's having some problems with her legs and stuff like that all season. So but she's been pushing it through since her last season. And um, so we're just happy that she's been here and whatever she contributed to, to this past five years, and we're happy that she's been part of our team. So, um, Ashley, for watching this, thank you for what you've done.